Jan de Bont. Wow, that's uh, uh, he did Speed. He did the Haunting Minority Report. But I guess most important is was Twister back 2000, 1999, somewhere in there. Uh, he uh, he could take care of this uh, Tobit movie. Uh, he's a producer and a cinematographer. I think it needs to have a certain look. It's a story from the Bible, so people have expectations. There's uh, one and a half billion people, with a B, billion people, who are already familiar with this story from print, but it hadn't been made into a film. Uh, so when you adapt a story from the Bible, it brings a lot of expectations. I think uh, he could do it. I'm per pretty sure he's already familiar with the story. I mean, uh, the attentive public, the most intelligent and basically the people that paid attention in school uh, are familiar with the story. Uh, yeah, it's an iconic story. It's never been made into a film. There was a silent film, but uh, nothing like it since. Uh, there's a lot of reasons why political and uh, religious but uh, all those have gone away. I think it's 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 time. Uh, how do you pitch it? Uh, well, he's got people around him, and I don't know if they'll let the script through easily. But uh, go ahead and share it with his people and see what they say. Uh, it's um, Yeah, pitch it like this. Seven Jewish weddings and seven demonic murders. And there's a huge fight between an angel and a demon at the end. First half is first half of the film is just I don't think it's repetitive cuz these uh the groom is killed in a different way each time. Asmodeus, this demon that's haunting a girl. Uh, the girl is Sarah, and she's married seven times, and seven times she's widowed. And this guy that's uh, doing this is a demon, uh, Asmodeus. He's a th creative demon. He thinks outside the box. So it should keep the audience uh, glued to the story. Every, everybody, you know, a wedding is a very special day. We don't really care that much about the family or who gets to be the maid of honor or i don't think we even really care that much about the groom but uh, you interrupt a girl's wedding day and it's gonna be it's 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 gonna be an emotional it's a roller coaster ride i mean she finds love she's gonna get set, settled down and get married and uh she's a good girl from a nice jewish family and she didn't bring any of this on herself so she may be the most compassionate character in film history i'll talk talk to his people i you know they there's not so much a big moat around him i uh you know everybody talks about a celebrity moat uh and they have to let the drawbridge down like if you want to get a script in front of brad pitt uh you, you need an army because uh, he's in a castle and uh, his managers uh, have dug a moat. Uh, no, Jan de Bont would be awesome. Uh, I, I'll almost guarantee you he's heard the story before. Many, many people have heard the story. I can't believe it's not been made into a film. Well, I tell people it's the greatest story never filmed. Come on, seven, seven weddings and seven murders? Well, that's just the first part of the movie. That's just the first act. <laughs> yeah, call, call him. Call his people.